Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to start out to say thank you for those who've been watching my makeup vlog. And with that said, I'm going to put on an extra bonus vlog today and this is it. And to start out, I just want to say don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel down below and click that bell button somewhere right here. For the next notification for the new video, I'm uploading a new video every Saturday. Every Saturday. So, let's get started. This is the perfect day. So for this vlog, I actually wanted to do my first makeup haul. And guess where I went? I went to Morphe! A lot of you probably say, oh, buy Morphe. So my background is actually I work at Sephora for a couple of years now, three or four years. Not anymore. I still love the company. I just got off of Sephora to get married. So that's why. So I've been in the comp Sephora for like a few years and never actually went to Morphe. Because there's so much products at Sephora that we have to like, use and try. We got so much products. So now is my first time trying out Morphe products. So I'm really excited. So there is recently having a sale, I think. 20% off the whole website and in store so we went in store me and Andre went in store to pick out all the products and since it's my first time buying Morphe I just kind of went all out just grabbing palettes actually we have we have a movie ticket to go to see Spider-Man and Andre gave me 30 minutes to grab whatever I can grab before the movie start so so the first thing that I want to open is... I don't know where to start. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's Morphe. So I'm just going to start out with the Morphe palette. And I have a confessions that I actually just use this palette of this makeup look. But I can't wait to like use it. So I just opened this package. Just this one. And another one. Well, not the lip liner, but we're going to go to that a little bit later. So this is the Morphe 3502, the Second Nature palette. The one thing that I love about Morphe is everything is so affordable. Not like Sephora is a little bit more high-end. Not saying that Morphe is not high-end. It's affordable. So I wish I knew Morphe when I was still in like high school. Because everything was so... I want to say cheap. Like made for a great price. And for this palette, I believe they are like 25. How much is this one? No kitty. This is about $24. Not include tax. But did they come in this nice black packaging right here? Wrap. I actually used it already, but just put in the wrapper. And so this are the color that came into the palette with it. And first looking at it, I love it because I'm more like a neutral, so I'm more staying over this area-ish neutral. And sometimes I like more like a little bit of colors. So with this makeup today, I actually seen the Kim Kardashian new makeup collections that are coming out that doesn't launch into like July 14, I think next week. So I didn't want to go full on Kim Kardashian makeup look because I want to use actually her palette when it's come out to do that makeup look but I just got so inspired so I'm just using this orangey fiery colors. But yeah. So the color is really... They have a really large range of colors. And there's so many palettes to choose from, but I'm just gonna swatch a few of them for you. So first one I actually like is more this one. And I believe that color is called Spice. And the whole palette swatch is really good. And I'm just gonna swatch this red one right here. And the color 
Yeah. So everything came out pretty good. It's not the highest pigment, but you got what you paid for practically. And let's swatch one of the shimmer colors. I'm gonna swatch this one right here. Leave this color as bronze. A lot of people like and hate the shimmer color, but actually it's kind of okay if you use your finger to press it in. It's pretty high pigment, but with the brush to go in, it doesn't pick up that much. And let's swatch one more color. Let's do this orange right here. So it's really a little bit more pigment when you use with your fingers. So I kind of like it. Now I just want to go back and pick out all the palettes that they have. So yeah, so that's, I'm not going to swatch all the colors because there are a few more palettes that I want to go through. But yeah, so so far it's pretty good. So now let me wipe all this off for the next palette. And I have one thing from that I purchased that I'm going to save for last because I think I'm like most excited about that products. And let's start with the next palette. So this next one, I guess everybody loves this one. So I got the Jim Charles palette. Say on the back right here, it say, Hi sister, James Charles here and welcome back to my palette. I love glam, but also have a huge passion for crazy colorful outside of the box makeup. And I create this palette with that in mind. I include every beautiful formulated shade necessary to create literally, literally any look you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to see what you come up with and when you unleash your inner artist, Kim Charles. So, I haven't opened this bag yet, this package yet, but I love these pictures. And I know this palette came out like a while ago, but I just opened it today, so it's exciting for me. So here's the package. I like all the black color on color, the matte and the glossy right here. And here we go. Okay. So there's a lot, the pan size similar to like the Morphe one and that's, I like how there's like a larger pan size right here because some, some of the color like the black one we use a lot of black colors and it's always ran out first so it's great for that color to be a little bit more but let me see. Let me go swatch with this color first, I believe that one is called artistry. This, this really vibrant purple. It's pretty sheer. It's sheer than I thought. I thought it would be a little bit more pack a punch. So a little bit more sheer lavender purple, which is okay. Let's go for like a matte color. Let's go for this red color and we'll leave this one. It's called You're Kidding. So I feel like it's have a little bit more pigment than the other palette, but color is pretty the same. And I'm not sure if he made this one for a highlighter or shadow, or maybe both. One more, so let's swatch this green one. So I don't usually go for the bright color, maybe I will, but there's a lot of pigment in this one. Okay, can't wait to try all of these colors. So here's the palette for James Charles. So far, I like it. I like the packaging. I'm all about packaging. 
Um, my background also in fashion design and merchandising. So a packaging, a great packaging is really great for selling points. Okay. So I have one more palette that I purchased, but I want to save that for a little bit second to last. Cause... So the next, beside that one, hold on, let me hide this one. So beside all the palette, I also bought some Morphe brushes. So I got this one, an R8, I believe it's a contouring brush, and this one is M106 pointed dome brush. And this one is M222, the rounded crease brush. You can never have enough crease brush. M330, the blending crease brush. So you can never have enough crease brush. And this little weird one. Is M164. This is not sure what it is. I think it's a contouring brush. So I believe this would be great for like a nose contouring. So they feel really good, and I can't wait to use this one. I believe it's used for contouring. It's great for like nose contouring right here for cream. And this one is also contouring just in a larger size, but this is for like cheek area. And press, crease, blending brush. Another thing that I bought at Morphe are the lip liner. So you know I can't live without a lip liner. I always put on lip liner before I put on my lipsticks. So actually another confession, so I actually use this one. I think I used backseat love today. So this is backseat love. Yeah, I used this one on my lips today. So with this color, it's really nice, mowy, new, almost close to your lip colors. So I love that. I love all the nude color and neutrals. Oh, really bright like red and pink, which I didn't get yet. Also, this one is Petal. I think this is a darker shade. And I love, I use this one because I want to see how the formulation is. Because it's really hard to find a real, really good lip liner. And so far, this one is really good. It's really high pigmented. I use all over lip, it's kind of hydrating for your lips. It's not as 100% a lot of pigment, but it's enough pigment for your lips. So you don't have to like scrub in there. This is Love Bite. Okay. Here's the color. a little bit more like a browner color still a little bit warm and the last one is like the darkest one this is guide me Should guide me how to open these packages So just different shade. I know it's the same shade because I like the same type of colors, but... Next up, I got Morphe High Compact Highlighter. I was looking at the bronzer. I wanted to get the bronzer. I might go back to online and get it. So here's packaging. It's pretty nice packaging, it's hard plastic, it doesn't look cheap. Here's the color. Just go ahead and swipe this one. Okay. It's pretty soft, it doesn't have a lot of powdery, which is really good because a lot of 
highlighter is really chalky, but this one, it doesn't feel like it is. Can't wait to try this one either, but this one is called Extra. So. And now the price point is really cheap also. Like the lip pencil is only $4. The highlight is $14, which is affordable. And yeah. Another one that I got is actually the setting spray. This one. So what's special about this one is it's continuous mist. Come on, let me try this on. Oh. Kind of like you spray this all day. It's so nice. This tablet is like. Have a nice scent to it. It's not really overpowering. It's like a slight floral scent to it. I like it. I wish my hairspray would spray out like this. Because so, majority of the setting spray, they kind of like, squirt at you. So just like, a lot of liquid, and you get that spot. But this one is really fine mist. It's kind of really a kind of small bottle. I wish it come in like a bigger bottle. But we'll see how long this is gonna last. But so far, this is one of my favorite ones. And then next stop is another palette that I wanna try. And I think I'm most excited about this palette. And again, the packaging. So this one is from Jeffree Star. This is the Blood Sugar palette. And that's why I love it. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's do that again. So I love this one. The packaging is so sturdy and it looks like a carrying case. So you just pop this off and here's ugh, the colors. It's so cute. I don't want to use it. And when I seen this one, I told Andre like, I wish this part like pop off so I can put stuff in it. Stop staring at it. Okay, let's do some swatches. So I'm gonna swatch this one. I'm gonna swatch this one, the red one. I think this is called Blood Sugar. And... Oh. Wow. It's a lot of pigment. Now, the gold one right here. So I think every color came out pretty great. Let's try Coma, the really deep purple one. So just one more like that matte color. The color right here. This best color, Bunny Morphe. It's really high pigmented. One more. Let's try Sweetener. So this one is also the Shimmer one. I'm out of fingers. So far, I think this one is my best one. Love the packaging. So this one actually my favorite purchase at Morphe. Actually, it's also from Jeffree Star. It's the gloss one. And I think a lot of people seen this one. I didn't see, I didn't get to see the concealer though. But the reason I like this gloss is if I can get it out. other direction. The reason why I like this one is again the packaging. Jeffrey know how to package his products 
And the main reason I like this one because it looks like Sailor Moon. So we should go like this. So this one is really pretty one. It's really sturdy, it's really good glass. The color is great. I think this color is called Diamond Juice. Okay. I did put on my glass today because I want to try this glass out. So let's see. It's a dope foot applicator. This has a scent to it. This has like a light vanilla scent to it. Time after time, the light in your heart shines like a diamond. Tastes kind of like cupcakes. Yeah, cupcakes. Cupcake frosting. Yeah, cupcake frosting. This is my favorite one. So cute. So each time you take out the purse, just go like, ah, oh, Sailor Moon. Okay. What's your favorite Sailor Moon? Mine is Sailor Mini. So, so that's it for my makeup haul. And let me know if you like this makeup today, which I'm using with the Morphe palette. And I was planning to do a um, giveaway. So I was thinking, should I do... Because I bought another package of Morphe, but I might just collect a lot of products and do one big giveaway in the next few months. So don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell right here to know my next video that's coming up that should be this Saturday and this video should come before that one hopefully so until next time next time uh, next Saturday not next Saturday this Saturday bye